Welcome to our new lesson of heat transfer. Today we are studying transient heat conduction in semi-infinite solids. So first we need to define what a semi-infinite solid is. It's idealized body that has a single plane surface and it extends to infinity. So schematically we can represent it here with this line. So on the right of this line, we have the solid body. So here it's solid. Whereas here we can have, for example, air. And so we want to change the boundary conditions here on the surface. And we want to study how the temperature profile changes over time. So we can apply the semi-infinite solutions to cases of a large bodies and the classical example is the earth. And so for very large bodies like the earth, we only care about the temperature variations near the surface. So we consider a semi-infinite solid and initially <clears throat> at time smaller than zero, then the temperature of the semi-infinite solid is uniform. So we have Ti everywhere inside the solid. Then at a certain time T equals zero, we change the temperature of the surface. And for example, we can set it equal to Ts. So that's the temperature of the surface. And we assume that this temperature does not change over time. So at T, equals zero, the surface has a temperature T zero, but all the points inside the body still have a temperature Ti, because all these points inside the solid have not felt the change in boundary condition because we're still at time T equals zero. So what happens to this temperature inside a semi-infinite solid as time evolves? So we can see here, as time grows, so T larger than zero, T equal T1, T equal T2, then the temperature profile changes in this way. So as time grows, the semi-infinite solid feels the change in the temperature, so the temperature at Ts more and more, and becomes hotter and hotter. And we can see that eventually as T goes to infinity, then in the limit, all the points of the solid will have a temperature Ts, that's the temperature of the surface. So remember, we fix the temperature here, so the temperature Ts of the surface does not change over time. So we get many profiles as a function of the co coordinate x. So an infinite number of profiles as the time evolves. But what we can do, we can scale these profiles and we can change the uh, temperature scaling and we introduce a new variable so that all these profiles collapse onto one another. So we have just one single profile. How do we do that? So we introduce the, this non-dimensional temperature. So T minus Ti divided by Ts minus Ti. So this means that here at the wall, this value is always one. And then the coordinate now, it's what's called the similarity variable eta. And eta contains x and time in this form. So x divided by square root of 4, four alpha t, where alpha is the thermal diffusivity. Let's see how we can interpret eta. So remember, eta has this form. So if we fix the position x inside the body, we take the time going to infinity, then eta will go to zero. So this means that as eta goes to zero, then this ratio goes to one. And that's exactly what we want. So the temperature everywhere, so at that position x, sorry, will go to a temperature Ts because all the points inside the, the semi-infinite body will reach eventually the temperature Ts of the surface. But still, we have fixed x, so we let the time go into zero, then eta will go to infinity, and then this ratio will go to zero. So we recover the temperature 
ti, so at time equals zero, all the points inside the body will have a temperature ti. That's initial temperature, perfect. Now, instead, if we fix the time, we fix the time, we take the x going to infinity, then eta will also go to infinity, and we have the temperature T going to the temperature Ti. Does this make sense? Yes, because we are so far away from the surface that at a certain time, we're so far away that the temperature will still be the temperature at the initial condition at time equals zero. Instead, if we take X going to zero, then we recover the temperature Ts, so the temperature of the surface. So any time, that's the temperature that we fix on the surface. So it's very important to analyze that graph with the different asymptotic behavior of temperature as the time or x going to infinity or to zero. Now, let's look at this problem more in a more mathematical way. So to solve this problem, we start from the heat conduction equation. And we know this is a second derivative of the temperature with respect of x, and that's a partial derivatives, equal one over alpha, the thermal diffusivity, and partial temperature, partial time. What's important to note here, that's it's one dimensional, so we all just have this one spatial coordinate, that's x. And the boundary conditions, so at any time, at x equals zero at the surface, the temperature is equal to Ts, we talked about that. And instead of x going to infinity, any time the temperature will be Ti, because we are so far away from the surface that the body has not felt a change in boundary condition at the surface at x equals zero. And the initial condition, so at time equals zero, the temperature, any location x, it's equal to Ti, the initial temperature. So, but let's use the similarity variable now to transform and simplify this, uh, this system. To do that, we need to do a little bit of uh, mathematics. So we need to change, transform the equation. So for example, partial temperature, partial time, with the change of variable will have this form and so for the partial x and second derivative or, uh, with respect of x. So now we have what we want. So we, we have the partial temperature, partial time is a function of eta. And also we have the second derivative of the temperature with respect of x, also as a function of eta. We can substitute this in the heat conduction equation. That's a good exercise to do. And everything simplifies out. And the beauty of this is that we have now an ODE. So the temperature now only depends on eta. And the boundary conditions also transform, they simplify, so we have temperature at eta equals zero Ts, and the temperature for eta going to infinity, we recover Ti. We can integrate this, we get this integral, E minus U squared du, and there's no known solution to this integral, but this is a known uh, function, a special function called the error function, it has this form. So this is a tabulated function, so you can find the solution, for example, on um, on the internet or on the book of, um, of Kangel. So you can plot this, and if you plot this, then you will recover the temperature profile of the temperature as a function of eta that we talked about earlier, which is this one. Okay, so this is the error function form. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks again, and I see you next time. Bye.